electricity can be dangerous. Did you know? On average, 30,000 arc flash incidents occur annually. These incidents result in an average annual total of 7,000 burn injuries, 2,000 hospitalizations, and 400 fatalities per year. Moreover, it is estimated that 5 to 10 arc flash incidents occur every day in the United States. For severe electrical burns, medical costs per person can exceed $4 million, and the total cost per electrical incident can exceed $15 million. The statistics are scary, but the good news is that electrical hazards can be mitigated by following basic electrical safety procedures. As an orientation to this course, let us consider an example. A mechanic was assigned the task of installing wiring for a ventilation system in a factory, and a laborer was assigned to assist the mechanic. Both workers had little to no training in electrical hazards and were not qualified to do electrical work. The workers used a scissor lift to raise them along the wall to the ceiling joists. They started at 8 a.m. in the morning and their work progressed uneventfully through the morning and into the early afternoon. Around 3 p.m., the mechanic and his assistant started working near the end of an electrical bus bar, which was missing an end cap, exposing four electrical conducting plates. While the mechanic turned around on the forklift to look for a piece of equipment, the assistant, who was not trained to test circuits, picked up a voltmeter and connected the two testing probes across the copper plates. The connection resulted in an electrical arc and overloaded the voltmeter, which exploded. The assistant's clothing was set on fire by sparks from the arc and the exploding voltmeter, and the mechanic's clothing was set on fire as he tried to help the assistant. The mechanic lowered the lift to ground level as co-workers used a fire extinguisher to douse the flames. The mechanic suffered burns to his hands and chest. The assistant died due to third-degree burns and smoke inhalation injuries. This example demonstrates that there is a risk of electrical hazards, especially electric shock and electrical arcs, while working with or around electrical tools or electrical circuits. Employers must permit only properly trained and qualified persons to carry out electrical work. Furthermore, employers must develop, implement, and enforce an electrical safety program that sets out the electrical safety practices, lockout tagout procedures, circuit testing procedures, and worksite inspection procedures appropriate for the work operation to be performed. While anyone can be exposed to electrical hazards at home or at work, the risk is greater for workers, as work sites are cluttered with tools and materials and exposed to open weather conditions. Therefore, it is important for employers across industry and various occupational groups to implement appropriate controls to protect workers and provide training to ensure employees are able to recognize electrical hazards in their workplaces.